This news story was produced by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. This may have become an international story, but for key organizer Jeff Fournier, this was a grassroots initiative that took hold in North Bay. We had a lot of community support as well. I mean, support from the uh, community waterfront friends, Heritage North Bay, and then support from local businesses for a fundraiser from the Davidi Club, and support from just all kinds of uh, citizens who, you know, um, kind of made some nice comments on Facebook, shared the the story and shared their views and, and got the message out of, about what we're doing and how important the Dion Quint home and the story is to the to the area. Well, it feels really good that we've made the right decision. I, I know Annette and Cecile, I'm especially happy for them tonight because they were so adamant in uh, <clears throat> the request that we honour the tradition and use this as a historical and educational opportunity for future generations and that is just so important and uh, we have to respect uh, the public's will and the will of the, our worldly audience that's watching this and the council did the right thing tonight and very proud. Yeah, after a number of months of kind of working through the process and going from almost losing the home permanently to see council support it seven to three this evening was uh, yeah, it was a relief. At the same time, it's a challenge uh, because really now the work starts. The next step in three or four weeks will be reconvening uh, the friends of the Dion Quince Home and Museum as a not-for-profit board, and that all needs to be worked out now that we have the home in North Bay as of say June the first at the new location. Hopefully. What are the plans for the home for the rest of the summer? What are the plans in the future? You know, we were going to have some regrets if we did this move to, uh, to Strong Township, and I think that's what it was all about. Uh, you know, we need to respect our history, uh, try, and, uh, try and see if there was something that fit in with the, uh, with the city. And, and I think the move to the waterfront, you know, we talked about a, moving the Dion home to the waterfront when I was, you know, chamber president back in, in early 2000. So, I mean, again, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a nice fit. You know, we seem to have a lot of uh, uh, the community's been mobilized by it. Teacher Joshua Pride jumped in with both feet in regards to this initiative, but he knows it is just the beginning. Uh, not to, to rain on the parade of, of our success of tonight, but today is when the real work starts. This is when uh, the operating board becomes established, when we apply for nonprofit charitable status and we start to build a museum. I've worked with, well, I've been to and have had tours and have seen the inner workings of museums all over Ontario and even in Europe as well when I was on a battlefield tour. And uh, there's a lot of work. And even here in North Bay, you can ask the, the fellows at the, uh, the North Bay Museum or Discovery North Bay, a lot of work goes into creating a museum. Mark King put a lot of work into trying to get this motion defeated. He didn't. Now he had time to reflect, still unhappy over what has transpired. You no, know, to a certain extent, uh, Clark, there's a little remorse, obviously. Um, you know, I, I, I was very clear uh, with respect to exploitation. That's something that's bothered me through this whole process. Uh, you know, I, uh, I, I did spend a fair bit of time with one of the uh, Dion family members and uh, you know, I could, I could feel the resentment, uh, and I know it was going right through the whole family. There were people on either side of the issue. Uh, very, very unfortunate event. You know, and I, I, I looked at the, um, you know, the pictures of the Dion sisters in Montreal, and they are not happy people. Uh, very, very uh, distraught, and uh, it is what it is, I guess. If you are interested in watching Coach Go North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.